today we are going to learn about 3D shapes. Now the difference between a 3D shape and a 2D shape is that a 2D shape is flat, like a square, a circle, a triangle. You can simply draw it on a piece of paper. Whereas a 3D shape is something that you can hold. It's thick, it has touch to it, you can grab it. Okay, so we're going to learn about six different types of 3D shapes and their sides and all of the different interesting facts about them. So, the six different shapes we're going to learn about are called a cube, a sphere, a rectangular prism, a cone, a pyramid, and a cylinder. All of these shapes are 3D, but they're a little bit different in their own way. Let's start by talking about a vertex. A vertex is the point where two or more lines meet. So you can see here in my cube that lines are coming together and they're making a point or a corner. That point or corner is called a vertex. Now if a shape has more than one point or corner, they might have two vertices or three vertices. That's the plural form. Then we also have faces. A face is any flat surface on a 3D shape. So anything that you can rub or touch and it's smooth and flat, that is called a face. You can see in my ice cream cone, I have one face, one flat side on the cone. Now let's go ahead and look at some of our shapes. The first shape we have is a cube. A cube has six faces and eight vertices. I decided to use my little tool to circle all of our vertices so you can see the corners or the vertices where the lines connect in each shape. All right, so we have six faces and six and eight, I'm sorry, vertices on a cube. You'll be able to see the faces easier when we hold on to the shapes and turn them in our hands. The next shape we have is a sphere. This kind of looks like a ball, a basketball, a ping pong ball, a soccer ball. The funny thing about a sphere is that it's round, so it doesn't have any flat faces and it has no corners, so it has no vertices. So a sphere has zero faces and zero vertices. I think that's the easiest one to remember because it's just like a ball and it doesn't have any flat sides or corners. The next shape we're going to talk about is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism can also be called a cuboid. You can call it either one, they mean the same thing. A rectangular prism is similar to a, cu a cube. Both of them have six faces and eight vertices. The only difference is that the faces on a cube are square and the faces we see here on the rectangular prism are rectangle shaped, but they still have six faces and eight vertices. The next 3D shape is called a cone. This cone, or all cones, have one face and one vertex. Very simple, very easy to remember. The point right at the top where the two lines meet is the one vertex, and the circle at the bottom is the one flat face. A cone does not have any other flat faces because the triangular part is curved. It's not flat where you can put something on top of it. The next 3D shape is called a pyramid. A pyramid you might think looks familiar like the pyramids that we see in Egypt or on the TV. A pyramid has five faces and five vertices. So you can see the vertices at the bottom. It looks like the corners of a square. And then we have the one vertex up at the top where all of the lines come together and meet. That is our pyramid. And the final shape we have is our cylinder. Our cylinder has two faces and zero vertices. One face at the top and one face at the bottom. 